So according to Larry Allison, the Cybertruck is going to be Oracle's next police car. Very exciting. Also, we'll talk about the latest news. So stay tuned. Billionaire Larry Allison talks about amazing news for the future of Tesla. Allison said, the next generation of police cars is coming out very soon and it is my favorite car. It is incredible. I know too much about it. Some of it is still to be discussed and coming very soon in the next 12 months. Complete self-driving cars from Tesla. Larry Elson is talking about two things. One will be amazing visually, which is the Cybertruck as a police car. The look is absolutely incredible, especially as police vehicle. The Tesla fleet is inexpensive to maintain, plus its operational efficiency. The speed, the technology, cameras, it all makes sense. It is obvious that it will not end just with police cars. Larry also said that autonomous driving, I mean talking about full autonomous driving, coming next year, which is a massive statement from Allison, who is not only worth billions of dollars, but has most of them invested into Tesla. Larry Allison is someone that came in in 2018 when the company was very down and helped steer the company around. Larry Allison has built Oracle from the ground up full self-driving or full autonomous driving is going to be a 80 percent cross merchants business a SaaS software as a service business the ability of whoever wins this battle to dominate an entire industry the power of the entire market whoever wins gets to decide the rules regulations and having the monopoly Larry is talking about the battleground in the game. However, it is already clear who the winner is. <laughs> so Larry says that the timing is next year and way ahead of the projection of Wall Street. Tesla is far ahead of the competition. Tesla has 34 million miles driven on the street. Police cars are beautiful visually with the usage of the Cybertruck and $1 trillion in profit with a 80% cross margin and a total domination of six to seven trillion dollar market which is not priced in currently so there's a lot of talk about the uaw strike and the uaw strike is threatening to launch additional strikes if agreements with stellantis gm and ford are not reached out of uaw's 146,000 members who work out of the big three 12,700 workers are on strike as a result of the union's coordinated u.s action in Wentzville, Toledo and Wayne plants. Last Friday, Ford laid off 600 workers at the Michigan plant and many other work workers walked out. Now Stellantis laid off 370 workers. As the strike deepened, GM and Stellantis laid off 2,000 additional workers. Workers that GM laid off will not be eligible for unemployment benefits. However, Toyota as well as Tesla are not unionized. So now let's talk about why Tesla shares fell uh, last Friday. Shares fell about 3.2% in late trading Friday. So from June to August, Tesla sold about 13,000 EVs per week to Chinese car buyers. September sales have dropped to about 9,000 per week, according to insurance registration data collected by Citi analyst Jeff Zhang. Few retail deliveries in China will make it difficult for Tesla to hit the consensus call amongst analysts tracked by facts said that number. For the third quarter, uh, will come in at 463,000 cars. Expectations have been coming down. The average Wall Street estimate was about 473,000 a week ago. Tesla deliveries estimates tend to come down heading into the th end of the quarter. So Tesla took some downtime at the factories and the third quarter limiting production so investors should brace for some trading volatility also gary black from future fund predicts tesla third quarter deliveries of 440,000 units below the consensus estimate of 462,000 units citing the model 3 highland transition also raising bond yields pose a threat to growth stocks like tesla and ei root tesla is due to report its quarterly deliveries in a couple of days and while wall street estimates of the number coming down they might not fall fast or far enough investors need to be ready for a low number tesla doubles 
orders for Dojo supercomputer chips amid expansion plans. Tesla is reportedly enhancing its collaboration with Taiwan Semiconductors MFG COLTD by doubling its order of the Dojo Semiconductor chips D1 this year. And more on Tuesday, Tesla is to be included in EU anti-subsidy probe over China exports. Now, Tesla will be included in the European Union investigation into Chinese subsidies for electric cars. The electric vehicle manufacturers, as well as European car makers that export from China to the EU, will face the probe as there is sufficient prima facie evidence to justify the investigation. And RBC Capital reiterates outperforming Tesla maintains a $305 price target. RBC believes Tesla to beat consensus. Tesla deliveries in Q3 are projected to be 462,000, about 0.3% ahead of consensus with minimal shutdown impact. The estimate deliveries up 1.9% compared with RBC's prior projection of 454,000 are based on registration data and app downloads. The estimate is about 0.9% lower quarter over quarter amid production shutdown. This is an indication that demand continues to grow, although not nearly the same rate of change as we observed about 12 months ago, the analyst said. Tesla is to report deliveries next week. Also, Elon Musk has been meeting with Israel Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and his wife. And he also met with the Prime Minister of Thailand on the sidelines of the United Nations in New York. Tuesday, the news reported that Google, Microsoft and Tesla to invest $5 billion in Thailand. Tesla would be looking into EV manufacturing facility. So, I hope you enjoyed the latest news on Tesla and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much. Goodbye.